Hello, hello. Let's switch this over. Okay. Hopefully the music's not too loud. Start rolling. So, we're looking at the four hour here. Four hour we filled it already. Um, we are looking to see if we were to get closure above here on ES, it looks like. Very strong push. We get the closure in 13 minutes at 10 p.m. here or 10 a.m. here. Uh, we look at the hourly. We dip back into that hourly FPG there. Just basically landing on this order block. We'll look on the five, showing the similar things. A little SMT you can see here. Um, with with um. But this is 15 minutes. Alright, this is 15 minutes. Yeah. With NQ being the weaker asset there. Look at the five minute here. Very, very weak. Let's see if we get something. Your voice is slow. Uh, let me try to change that real quick. I think I can change it if I just try that. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, let me just pin this. Yeah, we have SMT off the highs here. Let me just lower this a little bit. Let's get it. SMT is very good for looking for a type of reversal there. Um, Gonna look for trades starting 950 here. Wow, start very strong sell there. Shorts from the 947 inversion there. Or FPG. Oh, yeah, you were waiting for that entry. This looks pretty good for lower right now. Um I am still anticipating to see if ES can hold this four hour. If this can hold this four hour here and close above it, the next target would be this next gap, taking out this relative highs here. So that's something that interests me. If this can close above. And we did sweep um, on higher time frame here. We did with the IRN news, if anyone's trading last night. Very, very low. We took out all, all these um, liquidity here. The next low is very far away. I, I don't. I think we're bound for retracement first. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get some longs today if I can. Um, until otherwise. It looks like a kind of V-shape there. With how things are moving. Um, this hourly is going to be very telling as well. If we get close under this hourly. It's going to be pretty bad there. For lower prices on Q. Same thing with the 15 minute. I I'll likely pay attention more to this 15 minute though. Um, if this can just hold this 15 minute be uh, before 10. I'll look at it closely. And yeah. If we start... Um, Moving lower, I'm going to use this as our 
breaker pattern that we displace through this low and look for entry short likely on the one minute that aligns with this so that's that um i'm not trying to do too much right now i'm just kind of waiting for confirmation here <clears throat> just got a reminder that price action lately has been very trend based whereas in we'll move up we'll move down with very little retracement and then we'll move up with the very little retracement and we're going to do the vice versa so it's quite interesting if you saw the whole down move we, re we really just broke down slowly but i would like higher prices from here <clears throat> so i'm trying to see if i can get confirmation soon here <laughs> if you guys have any setups i would go for them too you don't have to wait for me this inverse is here i, I would actually like that because we just induce this low here um, i don't know if i'm gonna take it though because i would rather the rate for confirmation by funded But yeah, we, we did get a sweep here, um, and then we landed inside that 15 minute FEG still. The stop would be way too large, though. Are we holding a 15 minute breaker? Let me see. I, I, I might have missed it. Bullish breaker. Uh, um, um, um. I'm trying to see the bullish breaker. I don't really see it. I don't tell me it's this candle, but um, from here, I, there's no sweep on the lows, and we need low before we displace higher to where that would be a breaker. 6 a.m. This is the high, this is the low. We displace higher. There was no sweep, so this would be a mitigation at best. If there was a low somewhere here and we sweeped it, that, that would be the bullish breaker. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah. We're gonna displace through this uh, one minute here, but this is way too far up for entry. Yeah, I, I like longs down here. Um, I would love confirmation. There's gonna be lots of time in the day, so we don't have to really rush anything yet. But definitely, I'm going to try to commentate as best as I can. And um, if there's trades that I'm not willing to take just because I'm waiting for better setup. If, if you think it's bullish, go for it. So right now, I think we're mm, we're bullish definitely on the intraday. Because we've just been grinding up. Um, the higher time frame, I would argue like it's bearish. But now we're like flipping. So like, I'll just put neutral right now. They're kind of up in the air. Depending on the 4-hour close, it's going to be very telling. If we can close this four hour, I, I really can see this go back to this um, internal because we swept a lot of external already. And it looks like that because ES is unlikely to drop another 10 points in five minutes here, I think. He's been holding very nicely. So that's why I'm looking for higher prices. If it presents it, I'll go for it. Um, I have no idea. Lanto did say he was going to um, do a stream with us, but I think he said he had to drive his parents to the airport because he took them to disney or something so i don't know the timeline with that but maybe he'll join later <laughs> but we, we do have plans for next week i think to have um other people on stream i think i have collaboration with astrades coming up maybe we'll do friday um streams in the morning and then i have lanzo and desi possibly joining as well on other days so hopefully we get like other good traders with good risk management and good tr uh, different trade style to jump in and we can kind of develop a a stop a top step trader tv but more of a of a um of the new gen traders i think they got a lot of boomers 
Okay, so this inversion did hold, so we violate this soup this low. Um, I would like to see this hold here. The unicorn TV. Th that's the thing though, because like me and Ash trade unicorn. Um, Lanto trades trend. Desi trade inversion. So I hope it's gonna be more variety than that. It's Okay, this inversion is holding here um if i were to take that trade um let's say i just enter like 460 i don't know where my stop would be it gotta be like i gotta just put it down this low there's gonna be like a 20 point stop but yeah this would have been already like 20 points back up this should hold though this should, this should for sure hold That's something I would take on eval, but I, I, I'm trying to wait for really quality setups on funded. Like if if my bias was more bullish here, or it should be bullish since we're holding this 50 minute. It's just challenging today. With the volatility. But yeah, I'm really waiting for this four hour close. We're getting that two minute closure here. Uh, I'm not sure if NQ can pop into the 30 points. That'll be very telling too. But ES is very, very strong right now. But how, how many of you guys trade Asia last night um, with, when Israel and Iran was doing this thing? I, I didn't have my news on. Like, I just played the volatility. I, I heard, like, some people were saying, like, oh, there's attack, there's missiles. But, like, I wasn't trying to look at it real time. I was just trading price action. Which I feel like was better. I know some people were uh, in the my Discord were saying like they traded uh, once they saw the notification of, of something happening, they just shorted and held and made a lot of money. I just play price action. But if you traded, um, then it was it was great volatility. It lasts a range. Um, we played longs at the very bottom, just basically under the yearly open. I think the yearly open was like two sixty nine. I think two sixty nine. That's where the yearly open is. So we had like a nice drive down, hundred points lower essentially. But once we got back up, it was very bullish from there. Uh, this is a bearish breaker, um, 15 minute closure in 20 seconds. And Q already have SMT from the highs, so it's willing to really dive, take a dive here. I'm just gonna put these two lows here marked. That might be something we might be targeting. Um, looks like it held in, inside. Um, the four hour close above, this is good here, um. What it could do is go back into this four hour before moving higher to this area. We have relative highs here. Yeah, this range is a little bit tough um, if you're on the wrong side of things. But this should be used more of an inversion here. If we get. If we get like 150 likes, uh, I'll do three giveaways instead of two today. Since we, we can make up for previous days. And the giveaway is your choice basically. You have my fun features, which has no activation fee if you pick that. It's 150k Apex on rhythmic um or etf <laughs> yeah i would rather play the the, the long side right now the, the, the bear side so if we get a um breaker here displaced to this high I, I would probably rather join in longs than short but nq is the weaker asset you gotta keep that in mind um well, we do have a one-minute bearish breaker. I, I don't think this is bearish yet. I'll just mark this here, though. This would how this would be how I draw the breaker. And if you have the FEG here, I'll likely enter at the 
at the bottom here and put my stop above so like this high here that would have been probably fine but i don't think this is counter trend for me i'm, I'm more bullish we got um what's up the hour the alley we did close below If we get a closure on this 15 minute here, 10 15, then I'll play the downside. Looks like the breaker is working there. Try to wait for confirmation on the high time frame and then look for a low time frame outline with it with our more high probability entry model. <laughs> tech tech is selling off, it looks like. The red line is my SMT off the off, off this high here. Where would I enter here? Let me just check if I would most likely do a, a OTE when we're having her just get them at equilibrium at least. So let's just say I enter at 465. Yeah, 10 point stop. Yeah, this would have worked out. I, I'm not bearish yet though at that time. I'm still floating. But I think someone did say the uh, continuation unicorn i don't know if you were bear already i wasn't yet but I'll, I'll switch this right now one minute we're bearish i'll try to update this as i go <sighs> but we got we got a very clear unicorn there i think it'll also align with a time macro yeah This is more like, okay, if I just enter here, stop at 12 points. This is already, um, this low here would have been one and a half R already. And then we did hit two down here. Let me check for you, Ninja. Uh, 931. 931. 932. 933. You're asking if this is a unicorn here and you took it along? I, I don't see. Let me, let me just make sure before I make. Are you using this as the bullish breaker here? Because we have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high. Displacing the. This didn't really close above too. That, that, that makes it a poor breaker. We want closure. We want closure past the wick. Your interest is not a 947. Let me, let me just make sure I... Oh, okay, okay. I, I see. You're looking at this as a bullish breaker. We displaced through that low move to this high here and then i don't know where you would enter there's no feg here except this tiny one i guess but this is this is pretty poor um in the range to 
like we we made a deep low we made a deep high and then you entered on the first tap down and my narrative is still unclear right now i'm looking for higher prices but it's way too early i also avoid the open market volatility there too buyers buying it up <laughs> I'm not taking this by the way. This is this has already happened. Um because we already got this fill here. This would have been um hmm. Can buyers really step it up? This is like getting weak still. So. so we made a 15 minute FAG and then we retapped inside of it. Um and then moving lower. On NQ is showing very, very bare signature there. A little bit of um, volatile for sure today. YM is pushing it up though. Um, I'm just waiting for clear, clear price action here. No one's calling, what the heck? Let me just look at this phone number. Yeah, this, this breaker is working. Uh, if you're a bearish bias, which I don't think it was confirmed for me yet, this would have played off beautifully. Deep sell there. I'm just waiting for the next 15 minute closure here. <laughs> Surprisingly though, ES is holding so well. So I'm, I'm looking to see if NQ can um flip because ym is also very very bullish here um i don't know if they're green today surprisingly why i'm so green today and he's the only one red <laughs> uh we close below the five minute the five minute is is better than the one minute for like confirmation but you're look you're trying to look at the 15 minute and the hourly uh if you're looking for like intraday bias to be flipped um well, that's a deep sell there but yeah we, we got a strong closure under this hourly here and then a retap back in and we're like probably gonna draw into this low here um look at the four hour i would probably say get into this range here too on this four hour looks like it's heading for that 410 sub 410 but this is kind of what i'm thinking though if i were to predict today i don't think the low should be in for the, the week um i would think it'll just move like this um for for nq i i would just see a quick tap in it's not gonna be um too long and i would just want to see it move through this high through that previous high <laughs> I don't think we move under 390s. Um, holding 390s for long term, though, for the day. But who knows? With with war news next, who, like there could be another breakout. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is way too decouple for anyone to enter trades right now. Uh, Right now, if I were to long though, I would try to get, get them on ES unless we get SMT on NQ, which would be good. 
Um, let me just check this. This should, this should go a, a dive into the four hour here. Better yet, instead of looking for one minute entry, we could probably look for five minute entry. Did we take a deep here? No, we didn't yet. Wait for the nair to form. Is it, that's that's exactly the case. Like we have a lot of price volatility, but it's just not clear for me. Is that the guy who always say that? Like, I expect bulls to step in and then. Like, I think there's twice where it was, like, to the tick or something like that. We're very close to it. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout now. 350? 350 to 380? Is that within the 4-hour here? Just a little bit under. So, you want, like, a sell through these two sell side here. I think midnight open should be protected at least. I don't know. I feel, I feel bullish today. Um, unless... There's more bad news coming, which is unpredictable. But we, we did such a deep sell, man. There's going to be a moment where we're going to create SMT, most likely, uh, where ES holds um, a low and NQ breaks through it. And then once NQ shows, like, Alignment with the YMES, that's gonna be where we can really jump in. But this decouple of a market where uh, ES is barely breaking and NQ just sold off like 100 points, <clears throat> that's very hard to play. But knowing that NQ is a weaker asset, this this play would have been decent. I, we could have taken this one for sure, would have very, very little drawdown. <sighs> Lanto said he might hop. Yeah, I think Lanto said he's gonna hop in five minutes here. It's cool. I might have to turn the beats off though, or the music off. Okay, yeah. So we're looking for a drive to the sell side, and then um, I want to see this four-hour hold. That's what I've been looking for. So like, we want to see a deep retracement into here. Um, I wouldn't even draw. Let's see this. This. What it would it um AOT would look like here? There's a it, because I'm still pretty bullish today. Oh, the equilibrium is much lower. Um, we took a stab lower here, so that means we just took the sell side out. Tech is really selling off still. Yeah, once again, this is trend moves. Um, where we'll get like a probably an entry somewhere. It might be a very quick entry, and then we'll just slowly just move, 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 uh, and then to our target, which in this case this is the sell side here. There's a deep sell there. Um. As expected though, um, I want to see this hold now though. It could go deeper, it could go like a little bit lower, maybe to this volume balance here. Um, to like 368, right what their the 0.5 is. And then the moment we start showing bullish signature, I'll try to jump in there. I'm, I'm confident in bullish signature right now. That hourly, we just did it equal low. Everyone is saying bulls are going to step in around 
I, I will just not long this until we get something that shows it's ready to go up. We shouldn't be looking to even think about catching a knife. But I'll be damned if this low is not in for the week. Today's Friday as well. Alright, we're, we're like 17 minutes in from 10. We're, we got lots of time here. Took a, um, a 15 minute sell side here. I think we only took one trade on live so far. And it was like a 5 point on ES. Because I only live Wednesday or Tuesday, I think. I didn't live Monday. We traded Tuesday. Many setups, but I was only execute one of them. Wednesday, I think I didn't live just because some crazy shit was happening with um, the market. And then Thursday, I did live. Live for an hour. And then my, my computer crashed. So... We're still on the green note right now. About like two thousand dollars in the day or on the week for a live at least. I'd also traded on my Discord in Asia and afternoon. If you're looking at this five minute like um bearish breaker, you wanna see a closure under um the down close candle. Which we need to see the closure first. Even then, um, I don't know if the risk reward is there yet. This this retracement here would have been probably good though. If you retrace into here, probably good risk reward. I also have tech on the screen. Let me just move what tech looked like. This should be okay. Let me just put this in the two minute chart. Everything's two minute. Um, yeah, tech is just selling off. You can see Microsoft here, um, just slowly moving under. Very slow grind. We opened up all the way up at um, 410 and then we lost 10 bucks, like 2% already. So that's that's like the reason why um, NQ just keeps on falling off the cliff. We, we have no strength at tech at all. This is quite interesting though. So we're approaching the area where a lot of people in the chat is talking about bull stepping in. Um, I'm looking for a run to like 367 and try to hold in that area. I, I, you can't be really predicting it. It could really go a little bit lower, a little bit higher. It's going to be within this range, I feel like. Um, but I need also confirmation. <laughs> just so trend based. Like, if, I guess if you had short somewhere, you could have held runners and just waited, waited, waited. But we took both sell side. Um, I like this for a balance here. I don't know if this is low is good yet. Probably need confirmation first either way. Um, I'm trying to flip through the time frame just so I'm aware with everything. But look at the five minute here too. Should a strong sell already open. Yeah, this SMT off these highs were very telling. Typically, when we get a reversal, we'll get such a distinctive SMT where like ES made a high here. But look how look look at the lower high that NQ made. It's like 60, 40, 45 points off. That's a big uh, divergence. Oh, I, I moved something. I should have known. Okay. But yeah, on the way down, you can see it's like downtrending here on a channel back and forth. Um, there was no signature in price where 
even the one minute that we were bullish how do we move up here you could have looked at like oh this might be a bullish breaker that might be it especially after we took out sell side um or even this case you just gotta wait for confirmation and that's why the trading model that we use we need clear confirmation before we do anything and that's how that's why it's so powerful because we really remove the false signals Yeah, but this breaker here, I guess it was, it was very spot on there. Uh, I, I would probably like ES here more, actually, um, just because we have a good um, stop here, and then we have this unicorn entry here. Would been good. Just way too early for me to take a trade um, because this is 958, nine fifty-eight, like um, nine fifty-nine type of trade, and we're still like seeing. If we want to move lower or higher, very challenging. But my prediction, though, I, I want like around, uh, let me just mark like 360 to 370. I want this to hold. It kind of be the, the consequent encroachment of this wick, too. But how, how's everyone doing this week? Um, press one if you're green for the week. Press two if you're red for the week. So I just want to take a quick poll. Maybe we could look for clear trades. Press yeah. Press zero if you're neutral. Uh, lots of twos. Lots of ones. Yeah, lots of twos actually. I think it's it's like probably like forty percent people are good today, sixty percent are red, and then like if percentage are even. Okay, we're we're entering this area. I want this to hold here, guys. <laughs> this area here, but bears are. Everyone kept on saying bulls are gonna step up here, so let's see if it step up. Let's see if that crystal ball is accurate. Three sixty there. We're gonna just full port long here. Boom. Damn, the sell is so strong, man. This week is not for the week, though. Like, if you move your stops, you got killed. But yeah, London lows looks like it wants to be taken here. I don't understand why you have a bullish bias. I was bullish above here, but this is such a strong sell right now. I'm, I'm just, we're looking for areas where it could hold. That doesn't mean we're gonna buy. We're just trying to see if it could hold somewhere and then we're gonna wait for confirmation. Um, Especially after like this whole sell in Asia really took so much liquidity and we did, we did get buy back up. But I'm just looking to see if we could test um, back in the London Asia range and then move up from there. I, 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 to be, I think um, based on the week profile, the low should be in. But I could be wrong with all this news pulling up. And he might just continue to dump. Like this is where I have like NQ pull up here or, or the tech. When all these um, tech are just keep on selling off, it, things get atrocious here. Look at this. Holy crap. Uh, Microsoft is selling off like crazy. Um, I don't know how red they are on the day right now. Let's just check. This is a 1%, 2%, 3%. Netflix, 7%. We just have ER. Just strong red. So it's good that we're waiting for confirmation because I'm not trying to long blindly right now. But I, I don't I don't think there was any short except this short here. If this short was the only trade I would have taken. Everything else like 
I don't think I would have taken any of this here. <laughs> yeah, but we got a strong sell here. Um, I want to get Trent is your friend tattoo on the on my index finger. Yeah, this SMT was everything. How many likes do we have on the stream? If we get 150 likes, we'll, we'll, we'll add another account to give away. Um, just to make up for all the giveaways that we didn't do this week already. Deep sell. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. Midnight opens coming. I mean, a lot of people were also agreeing the fact that, like, we could be looking for um, bulls to step in around... What was it 360 380 no one probably took that trade though for sure i don't think anyone in this live is just just trying to long blindly right now but yeah midnight open is something we're looking for i guess here i did not think we're gonna come back to this but this hourly is very big and balanced there. And it's just right under um, the midnight open. So if we can just get a quick tap in, maybe chop around a little bit and then move up from there. That's a possibility just because I think the low is protected for the um, Asia lows. I should remove this. Okay, I think Lance was on was up. Uh let me let me switch up to the voice here. Alright, speak so speak real quick. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, Lanto is on. Lanto is on. Yeah, I think your volume's probably awesome. low though. Let me just raise it up a little bit. Say something one more time. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, see if, if that volume's good, guys. If you can hear him clearly. If not, I can raise it up a little bit. A little quiet. I'll raise up a little bit then. Maybe that's better there. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I think it is a little quiet still. Okay, it should be good. All right, all right, Lanzo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You just got back from the airport, you said. Yeah, I just dropped off the fam at the airport. They're going to Disney, so. That's good, man. Um, you took any trades so far? Nah, bro. Like, the moment we start stream, um, we were like crazy volatility, and then like, um, just just sold off, um, constantly. Nicely, like, yeah. No, no retracement or nothing, and it's, that's the theme for this week as well. Mm -hmm. It's pretty tough out here. It's very steady. Very, very steady de de decline in price. Yeah. What, what See a couple candles pull in? back retracement. A couple candles pull back retracement. I wonder if this is a low right now for the the session here. But this is this is the first um. The first move bulls are trying to step in. Um, a lot of people in the Discord here got a little bit off. I think they said like three sixty three eighty. It was just three forty instead. But let's just see. If we get along somewhere. I, I I I would feel comfortable logging ES right now, if ES is so so strong. So is tech really trying to turn here? Let's see. 
still shallow. It might be um, not confirmed yet. Where would I get confirmation here? Yeah, we're just trying to wait for um, clear, clear setups right now. I'm looking for this five minute closure above too. <clears throat> Long ES on the um, one minute unicorn. This is a unicorn here. But for it to be like a high quality one, I would want a closure above these wicks here. We didn't get closure above. And I'm, I'm really just trying I. to take high quality setups today. Go ahead. I was going to say, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we sell back down. This could just be a short term retracement off that low take. Because we could, we could have a uh, bigger think sell side. Sell back achieve. down to um, Asia lows? Potentially. I mean, we could retrace a bit more. I just don't imagine they're not seeing full reversal off this structure. Yeah, um, I, I don't know really about so, the, the news happening with Israel and Iran, but um, like my assumption, like they they had like a big um, fear and everyone's selling, and and then it, like the battle's yeah. over or for now, I guess, and people are just buying the dip. But um, yeah, IBKR and Robinhood they they halted trading. Yeah, that was they fun. Did. Two of the biggest brokers, options brokers, halted uh, trading. Crazy. They gotta protect themselves, man. But yeah, let's see if we can get some trades in, man. We need we need some trades from Ulanto. Well, I want to see. Um, I do think this is a short term move here. I think we could potentially send back down, but. I mean, we'll see. I just the, the reason I believe that is because I just don't believe off, off this two candle pop here on the limit that that's enough for us to see reversal. Yeah, back up. yeah, like for sure. Um, I'm really waiting for confirmation on the 15 minute, something clear. But after this big sell, we we get like yeah two 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 quick candles, um, and then people are trying like oh this is the bottom. We don't even know if it's the bottom or not. Yeah. But yeah, let's do that daily. That daily's tough. On, on NQ? Yeah, that daily's horrific. We, we talked yeah. about it last time on the call, right? We were like, mm -hmm. we were like, NQ wiped out all of its yearly gains almost. Yeah, I inside think yeah, 269 was the yearly open. We bounced at the order block, though, very nicely, the midpoint of it uh, on the daily chart. Crazy how the markets work, right? Whenever we see a pump, it's it's a slow burner. Whenever we see a dump, everyone just panics and and yeah. Down, you know. His voice is too high. Okay, let me change that. Yeah, I, I need to know if it's high or low. Let me hear myself. Yeah, I guess you can open the test, YouTube video. Test, 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 test. I'm a little loud. Yeah. Okay, like I think I'll turn it down. Can you see if like now it looks it sounds good or not? I, I need to hear like the the ratio, I guess. Test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, test. Just relative to me, I guess. We wanna have similar sounds. Why is my Yeti so shitty, bro? It's a blue Yeti I'm talking through. Is it is it loud or is it soft or it's mine's it's mine's still a little higher than yours. Okay, let, let me just slightly uh, higher. Just a little bit there. Test, test, Might test, be good. Test, test. Still loud. Okay, that, that, that I just lowered like 20%. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay, cool, cool. Someone said that's just his voice. <laughs> uh -huh. I, think, I think you need to get a new mic, Lanto. Dude, I just bought this mic like a month ago, two months ago. How, how much was it? My mic's only like 50 bucks, I think. Dude. It was the blue Yeti, the extreme one, where it would be like that. Not the normal blue Yeti. It's the one above that. Whose quality Something sounds weird. better? Me me or Lanto's? Definitely yours. Definitely yours. <laughs> I, I, Dude, I don't, I don't want my Yetis like this. I was considering buying a more quality mic. I don't know if it's worth it or not. 
What mic should I get? I'll buy like I'll buy a new mic right now. I have no I just... idea, man. My my mic was like I think, you know how I I I always talk about like I'm, I wait for it's like um holidays before I buy stuff. It, it was like literally 80, 90 bucks. Um, I think it was like the Ryzen or or whatever, and like it was fifty bucks sales. I was like, okay, let me just buy it now. Wait, someone said sounds like he's in a large room with that. Wait, you my pen? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's just the mic. I think it's just the mic. Yeah, um, so this ES, I think some people mentioned, like, do we want to long this ES breaker? We didn't get closure above, and we also didn't get um, this there to on the 15 minute or, or the hourly confirmation in this case this is one minute we didn't get 15 minute confirmation so that's why i marked the breaker to see if it would hold it did and we didn't execute on it lentil sounds like he's an empty warehouse is do i really have that big of an echo my mic is kind of far away i could bring it closer but then i'll get louder like yo 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 one two three yo 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 that for some reason that sounds more clear i, I don't know if the, is the closeness, I guess. Maybe you're too far. This one mic's far away. It might be a setting low key here. Let me try. Yeah, they said if you're closer, it sounds better. Um, yeah, this 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 bearish breaker, I would actually go for. Um, All right, I would do it here, but already would be a little bearish or hourly. Had we tapped in this um, FEG here, I, I think Ash would have probably taken this trade. Just because he doesn't need it to tap in this FEG, but me, I would like to. to. I think uh, probably he, he would have just did this stop above. Um, maybe I don't know how. There's that sell. Like seven points, and he'll go for the next low, I guess. This is probably what he would have done. Setting. But me, I would want a retap back inside, and I'll probably do something like this. Um, probably line it up with this, the closure of it, and then um. No, what did that be? I'll try to do like four points since five minutes, and I'll target the next low already. That's already one and a half RR, and then we'll see from there. Yeah, we didn't even get a tap in though. I'm logging MO. I don't know what MO is. Yeah, that's why, Um, even though we got a quick move up. Like two large candles, like we can count the third one just because we made it look higher, close lower. Three quick candles. Um, we had no confirmation anywhere. So if you thought this is the bottom, it is way too premature. Yo, does that sound better or no? I think so. Hello, hello, hello. But you're still quiet. I feel like <clears throat> maybe closer is better though. Is. Um, is that SMT off the lows? It's very slight SMT just because ES made a like few ticks lower here. But it's the first time NQ kind of held his ground here. Ash would have took that unicorn breaker on on what? The five minute? Yeah, what are you taking this trade? Yeah, you probably take a short 40 here, stop above. I don't know where he, he usually put his breaker though. Yeah, seven points seems right though. Seems about right. If this candle flips here, I think we sell hard. Which candle are you talking about? This this one with the candle right now. Oh. The risk is just not there for me. Like if I'm trying to short this low, I would love to see it like, yeah, no, retrace higher. Like we we got like that three candle upwards, um, but it didn't really try to go with that much. But retrace higher for for sell be much better. Yeah, dude, there's just been there's been no entry models for these trend continuations, yeah. even for me. And you I know me, like, Brian. Yeah. Like, I, I just love I love slamming it. Like yeah, I guess your days like you play trend line breaks and you make so much money. I guess me? No, no. I say like if, if someone trade oh. trend lines like this week, because like mm -hmm. it really just it's the whole trend um the whole week where we're like we'll we'll be the downtrend and then the moment we snap we really snap like last night even in Asia session. Like, we had the cleanest V reversal straight back up. Yo, shout out to Tanya. She made 32K 30, in yeah, 32. off one account. That, that's the thing, that, too. That um, was crazy. Me and Tanya were talking private. Um, uh, it's just, like, when we're trading live, our, our trading style is limited because, like, even, like, you guys are watching, like, I'll trade, like, two or three minis 
try to like get like quick um 15 points other times if i trade by myself i'll actually try to go for the target and hold runners there but um that's the psychology of in the mental of trading in front of so many people watching um you don't want to be losing and it might limit your gains your profits on the day Your link in my Discord because I'm popping. Yeah, so we have S SMT yeah. off these lows here. Um, let's see if, if there's any confirmation. I want to find a profitable trading buddy. Uh, yeah, definitely surround yourself with people that are like minded. And if you're watching, like, say, live streamers or any traders too. If they have good discipline, they have good control, and that's gonna rub off on you too. A little pop here. See, this is the structure I'm looking for. If I do want to go long, you gotta build more structure like this. A good base. Cause I know um, inversion models come off like sharp uh, sweeps. Mm -hmm. off areas of liquidity but for like a pure mss take for me i love structure to validate uh you know the accumulation for the upside move versus like just one leg coming down and right back up that's just me though mm -hmm. see this hold here but yeah we, I, like, I like the way we have smc off these lows though I think tech is also coming back up after strong sales. Uh, see, we get a entry long somewhere now. After we get confirmation, we're about to get the minute close here. Someone said inversion off of five. Uh, I don't see an inversion. Off yeah, of five. on the five minute and um, ten twenty here. They have it marked. I'm just seeing if we can hold above, and then I'll drop down the one minute for entry. Ash is not sure. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Um, I don't. I didn't say Ash is sure. I was just saying like he probably would have taken a trade like that, and this would been like something he would do like he'll just enter off this breaker instead of me waiting for this five minute entry these type of days though i don't think ash is trading today I, or actually ash said to me that he was um uh, busy with his work the real estate and stuff Let's see if we validate this inversion yeah, I kind of wait for that retrace. Um, I don't know how, how you go for that. So, let's say if you go for this long somewhere, like, would you join in the momentum? or? It, it, it depends It depends on the speed of price. For me, it's like if we're very fast and we shoot into an inversion, I'd probably take off the close. Mm -hmm. But if we're slower, then I'd look for the retracement. Okay. Uh, yeah, sometimes speeds or price's purpose is to achieve an area a lot faster. Yeah, um... So. Some relative highs here. Um, we didn't get a closure above this five minute here. I think higher prices still now, especially after looking the four hour, we hit like a nice discount of the range of the day here. So, would like to see higher prices from here. Damn, what a push here. Ooh, big pop. Do you know what Ash does and for work? He does real estate. He was actually giving me some real estate advice. He's like, oh, I have so many rental properties. He's like, you should get into it. I was like, I'm, I'm interested, but it seems he's more experienced in that field. So the ES plan is looking good. Yeah, like uh, if you look at the ES, this is what I predicted here. Um, same thing with NQ, just a little bit lower though. Uh, I was looking for us to hold this OT here. But yes, I think he has like basically got to the dot here. Like basically that volume balance, I want to see it hold and then shoot for higher prices, especially um, after we close about four hours. That's why I'm bullish on if some people were asking earlier. But we just don't know how far it wants to uh, manipulate down before flipping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I 
here. Let's see. Maybe we should retest. Yeah, we got a quick retest there. Um, let me see if we can. Let's see the fifty minute here. He is hold his hole in the fifty minute. Now we'll block his wall. Yeah, I I would really like ES longs right now, just because it's the stronger asset. But I think we did tap that five in on ES. This this breaker could hold still. If we're if we're um, bearish, I would want to see this hold here. This is what I've said earlier. I, I didn't take this of course, but short at like around fifty forty four. That's that order block range. Um, inside this unicorn, just stop above the breaker. Which is about like three, mm -hmm. four points. And then you would want to target um, wherever, which score there is. But let's see. So for those who are watching for that five minute um, unicorn there, it's definitely playing out pretty well right now. You would have been up one to one already. Especially if you waited for this five minute um, tap here. Guess he wants 4.30 off his long. 4.30. Oh, thank you. He's where where, where is he right lost? Oh, uh, not sure. But he, he's seen a good ROI so far. Plus 20. Oh, okay. He probably long in the inversion here. Where would he... He probably longed um, for the 3.74. Maybe this one minute. This is a tight one minute, though. I have no idea where he uh, is. Let me see what he longed. Um, yeah, it was a one minute inversion. Yeah, yep. Yeah, probably. Dude, he's 70s. so risky though because he he takes those inversions without like real confirmation, which I know is like a model. Like mm -hmm. in terms of inversions, you try to anticipate them a bit earlier. He takes them like for me personally. Whenever I look for like a long, I want to see the lower highs that we create get flipped into higher lows, just for good indication. He takes he takes the inversion before that happens, which is. Yeah. If he times it right, it's a home run because he's always early, which is nice because he sees the, yeah. the biggest ROI. In this case, though, this is SMT off of lows, and if we look at high time frame, there's a like good discount yeah. entry. So, like, in that case, that worked well. Yeah, we're talking yeah. about Desi. He really also good. traded versions, Trevor. <clears throat> but we're still waiting for something going here. I would love to see something on the five minute, though. Five minute has been clean today. I probably should have taken this ES trade at least. Would have been a quick scalp there. Uh, anything else we can see here? As long as the hourly is flipped. This is a Ooh. breaker here, but we don't really have any gaps. I don't know. Just based off of 15 and the 30, I just I don't know if this is screaming full reversal. It's always just Back like this trend, man. Like we we're left with no entry, and like I guess if you take inversions and the trend is in your side, you're just gonna be keep on printing. But yeah, we got a very sh quick retracement that that ten forty seven candle there. Yeah, that's it. What make you turn bullish? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm already kind of high time frame bullish just because what I saw of the reaction. Um, but to confirm it, like me, it's kind of hard because there's so many wicks, large wicks, both sides. I'm trying to focus on candle closures. What I look likely if we if we can get through this bearish rig on the 15 minute here, because we did sell off this low here. It's a large range, though. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But <clears throat> for me, I just need more structure to be bullish. I just because we took that line of low here and we tapped nicely, but I just don't think what we've developed here is screaming full reversal mm -hmm. back into like London highs. So it's gonna be just be retraced for lower prices again. That's why, That's like, yeah, <clears throat> ES trade here would have been clean here. I'm glad some people pointed out, though. Once once I saw that you guys mentioned this five-minute ES unicorn here, um, I did mark it. I did show, like, where I would have entered. I would have entered right here. 
Um, if you also line up with, let's see, just the OTE here, you definitely want to try to get it above equilibrium. So you don't ne necessarily have to get at the bottom of the FPG. Just try to get um, work a line next to the other. So it doesn't have to be a midpoint. In this case, it did wick the midpoint. 44 short would have been perfect already. But I need to see if we can have an entry like that. That New York open move, we swapped London highs, and we also tapped inside that inversion, that four-hour inversion. That that would have been so clean and short, but I missed it because I was driving. They are setting up the bull flags. Uh, it's possible. I don't know. It's dangerous <laughs> today. Up the bull. Uh, that's funny. I hope we get a good trade today, though. So we can end it on the week with um, on a streak, or no, no, no bad trades. I'm gonna try to stick with my bias, though, or. What I think, I think this retrace holds and look for higher prices. Yeah, it can be a good possibility. <clears throat> Dude, why the fuck is my throat tweaking? Pause. <laughs> we didn't even get a closure through this low here, so yeah. If we can just move past, but we already took um, that two sell side lows. And did we tap under midnight? That's so surprising. We didn't even tap on the midnight open. Okay. Um, this does look bullish on the hourly still. I have to say. This is what I was thinking was going to happen on the hourly. We're just going to float around and then really come back up. I don't know. That 15 minute just still looks questionable in terms of seeking mass displacement back up maybe you can see a short term sell back down and rebalance one more time that 15 minute turns around for me but I'm still I'm still bearish that looks like another SMT if this wick holds here on just one minute this is why I think they wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised if they come back short one more time. Yeah, that th that's also likely. Um... Big yeah, galaxy. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I low key want to as well. They're really faking a lot of people out. So like the first run up, uh, they're like, oh, this might be the low here. They turn it back down, um, and then that really makes people think this could sell lower, and they they yeeted everyone again. <laughs> so it's like a double yeet. Hmm, interesting. Looks like ES is, is leading. Well, yeah, I'm just waiting for my entry model um, for something that aligns with what I'm looking at. Feel free to give us a trade, Lance, if you see something. Give the oh, people yeah, what they you. want. I'm just watching. Do you have to force it, though? Yeah, I didn't take a trade yesterday either, so I, I look key like I want to take a trade. Yeah, today. there's there's some yeah. days where you don't have to take a trade though, like if, if it's just too wonky. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like yesterday either. I mean, yesterday's price wasn't bad. There's there's no entries just like today. Very tough. Might be yes. Yeah, the only thing I liked today was the only thing I liked was the the ES takeoff high, off open for for New York, mm -hmm. off London. This looks like a sell now, man. Yeah, this this unicorn is still holding on on ES. Yeah, this breaker, uh, and I think we did tap in this fifteen minute breaker here too. So I would like to see if I can get a one minute time frame entry here. 
Um, likely this one minute here. There's that cell that we were talking about. Yeah. I, I might try to go for this here. Let me see if I have it set up. Trade off here. For me, it's important here because we got to see selling pressure kick in. We got to see a large amount of displacement here for me to believe that we'll see new lows. If we do retrace, like I said, we, we base off the sell here. We retrace back up. I think we'll see higher. Just because. I mean, we'll see. Who knows if we have any of this entry here. Uh, we got closure below. that. that that's confirmation enough, especially if we're rejecting off higher time frame. I would take this here. <clears throat> do a three point stop on this see if I get a run back to 40s here on ES or actually let me this will be the first internal here so that's already like one and a half RR if that hits Be careful, because I don't know. I mean, yeah. Do a trace. We might just pop high. Let me let me break this apart. I'll I'll put one here and then I'll put one in the another midpoint here, just so I can average it in, in better. Wait, I didn't get the fill. That's yeah, smart. I was off by a tick. Um, yeah. So we have SMT tie. So there's no breaker here on NQ. Um, we're we're rejecting off of a five minute break here, on ES, and then we're rejecting off of a um 15 minute breaker on and q mm -hmm. here so okay i got i got filled there short i put my stop on above here let me put it on so you guys can see sell stop and then yeah. i'll probably just take one off here at this low i forget you're really tight with your risk which is nice That's yeah very nice. i mean let me just see what it looks like one Definitely like taking one um, RR could be good today just because it's so volatile and you don't know what's going to happen. Let me just see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. If I do three points, I just need this would be three here for reference, guys. But yeah, definitely do what you good think is stuff. best. If you if you want TP earlier, do go ahead. I'm going to try to do what I think is best. I'm going to try to hold one though. Hold, hold one for the ride. I definitely would like a TP off here so I can put break this stop on. Let's get that hey, cell there. Security. NQ made a low. ES didn't. Uh, come on. Push it. There we go. Well, I went off. Good shit, Brian. Tell me, Good dude, shit. tell me not like that entry was not the cleanest entry you ever seen. Like to the tick. I was fire. I Ooh. forget you trade a little bit different. Dude, it's, like, it's but like nice. my stop was three risk. points, bro. I got four points immediately. I'm holding one. Like pre press one, press one if you took that, guys. Holy crap! Now we're up like six, seven points. And that trade might be the finisher for me today. Um, where would I TP though? Let me just. Uh, I need to look at a higher time frame to see where a good area be. Uh, I'll definitely just put breaking the stop on to protect myself though. But if you guys want to take the full profits. Feel free. Um, if we want to do a recap on why we took this trade, though, just one, once more time, we look at the 15 minute NQ reject off this breaker. For me to b be bullish, I want to see it push past this. It did on ES. There's two trades on you can take on ES. Um, you can take this five minute breaker here already. We have this FEG, so it's a unicorn, a bearish unicorn here. Stop above the breaker. We didn't get close to it. We got basically three type of entry models. Um, and then I just break down the one minute, which I like to trade on the one minute. Uh, we have a breaker that aligns with that entry model. I'm just going to put the buy stop and a green stop here. So I, I can end on a good note. The last one. You guys can do what you think is best, though. I don't want to get too greedy because it's already up 
Well, let me see. 360 on all my counts on this trade. And this would probably kill me to 300. I was probably like 500 up down here, though. So I was by. bullish at the lows here. You guys know like how I directed that. I didn't get any entry models. And then once we got confirmation of a short, I went for it and very quick, very quick. Mario said, didn't take it. Already had the winning trade for the day. Well, I already set up. Nice, nice. It was all good, man. But, um, yeah, taking this low would have been 1.5 RR. This would have been 2 down here already, right? Yeah, 2.8. 2 I just want to see if we can get to the lows. If we can get this lows here, I'll just be done for the day. I just joined. Good wasn't I just sell. Alive. Wow, look that sell. That. Beautiful. All right, Lance, so you're next. Tell us when to short or long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting. I've been very patient, maybe a little too patient this week. It's been good, though, because I haven't lost this week or last week. Yeah. It's I've been, been patient, but... This is our second trade of the week on live, actually, so, like, this is two for two. And ironically, the, the, the last trade we took on live was, uh, I think, Tuesday. It was also on ES. So hit, hit it up. Yeah, there's many ways you can do this. You can put breaking stops on. Um, it's probably best to do breaking stop because we have like a top tech entry. So there's no reason for it to come back up. Um, but I'm just going to put a little bit of a green stop to protect myself. I would keep on trailing it just, just because it's a Friday. But if we get this low, I'll be fully out there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Someone said, Brian, man, when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> w, Brian. <laughs> Nicholas, uh, due to SFT, would you like to short NQ? Yeah, it didn't have a breaker. I, um, I, I like to enter off of the breaker just because we already got the sweep, so there's no reason for us to come back up to it. So if NQ had a clean breaker somewhere, I would probably take an NQ. Like, how do we take an NQ? Like, look, look, the... Um, 10.59 was the uh, entry. This would have been like 45 points. We got like 6 points on ES. And he used a weaker asset like we already said. But the entry model is very clear on ES. But if you follow the same time frame that I'm looking at. The 4 hour, 15 minute, 1 minute. Um, and key reject off this 15 minute breaker. You drop down to the 1 minute. Find a 1 minute short, set, short setup that aligns with it. And that's a beauty. <laughs> You don't use time frame alignment. This is time frame alignment here. We're bearish on intraday. We're bearish on low time frame. It's a good sell though, though. Yep, yep, yep. Very, very good. I hope that I don't get too greedy. I'm like, we're, I'm not fucking like 700 on each of my account right now. Or 600, but... If we go for the slows, man, that'll be like nearly a thousand bucks. Yeah, great R R too. Yeah, like I, I think I top ticked that entry so cleanly, man. Forty point two five, it hit forty point two five. Yeah, three point stop for final TPB and what ten points? That's a that's like a three R three point five R. Twelve points if, like if I hit it. Oh, 12 points. So yeah, if we hit the lowest on that four R. That's a four R. Yeah, that's a four R trade, guys. That's proper trading now, because yeah. he could he could lose his next two trades and he will still be green off this trade alone. Yeah, All right. well, we can run the giveaway now while we wait for this trade. Lance, so you can enter too. Let's let's see if you. Get... Can it's a random giveaway, so if, if it hits some, um, yeah, I'll show it. Chat's gonna go crazy if it picks me. Rigged, rigged, rigged. <laughs> Mm -mm. 
Okay, we do the giveaway now. Just like the stream and enter. Oh, I, I think I got tagged out there. Let me just show the execution there. Where the fuck is it? So basically, short at um, fifty forty, it went all the way down about nine points, about three RR there, with no DD, you know, to go down. Um, yeah, it tagged me out, but it's it's fine. Had we taken that on NQ, like like a lot of people were saying, God damn, it would have been like a 50 point trade. But, but Brian said it, there was no breaker there, right? There yeah, was there's no, no breaker. proper setup there. You guys had it. It's more of a mitigation on NQ, but it's your yeah. preference. Like if, if I was taking an ES, you could just take the same thing on NQ. You had that one minute here. Oh, right now, this is it. Looks like we're buying back up. This looks more convincing for upside here if we hold on ES. Yeah, we are about to end first this one minute too. We already did that on ES. Yes. So we also have a one minute breaker here. I don't know if it's going to hold just because I'm not sure if... Well, I guess we're, we're bouncing off this 50 minute point of interest on ES. So we're ready to pump um, every tap back inside this breaker to really send it. Ended the move there with 400 bucks. I was, I think I was up like 700 at these lows though, but it's all good. That just means um, now I'm ending the day with about how much. Let me see. No, it was actually 300. This is what it looks like on my account, guys. Yeah, have on eight, eight accounts, I think. One, two, three, four, seven, eight accounts. 330, around 330. Some of them have a little slippage. But I think down here was like 700. I was trying to be like Tanya, though. Like, that also influenced me. I was like, oh, let's, let's, let's play for the, the lows. <laughs> let's see if I can get it. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't want to see you lose anything. Yeah, that's why I put a green stop on, so it protects myself. Now we're back at entry again. I, I would hate to do that. That might be it for me though for trading. Uh, I'll I'll just tape read with you guys. Mm -hmm. Is there an hourly break on NQ? <laughs> there is, but I think it will be easier to look at the fifty minute. The fifty minute is more clear. ES is so bullshit. You, you guys are right that uh, NQ would have been the better asset short. Uh, I was already saying that. I was like, if I would look long, how long ES? If I look for short, short NQ. Even now, NQ would not even get close to our entry. But yeah, it's really up to you guys because I already kind of said this is a good short here. Take on a different asset if you want. I think some people also said they took on NQ, which is nice. So let's see, there's about, there's not that many entries right now. There's about only like 50, 40 people who entered the giveaway. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, just type, did I not, let me just do this. Yeah, so if, if you're bullish here, I would, you want to see this breaker hold um, probably inside these one-minute FEGs here. This could be a second entry um, somewhere here. I don't, I don't think I'm taking it's it. Just, just, I'll probably end the, the week green here. My fund, it's... Yeah, but, you, you, uh, you should low-key call that. That was a very good yeah. trade. That just depends if you're bullish here, guys. Um, I'm. It's it's so hard because the 15 minute on ES is bullish. The five minute is showing bearish. The hourly is showing bearish. So like you're you're kind of fighting multiple time frames right now. But 
would like to see this work though. Like like ICT said, uh, when there's two clean breakers, not two clean unicorns, you're gonna just see back and forth, back and forth. So if you short this and you see a breaker here, this is a very clear spot to take profit. You don't even have to reverse. And we're just gonna go back and forth until we break one side. And that's that's such a, a clear example there, guys. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna head off. Uh, good session though, Brian. Good shit, good work. Right, man. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna catch you guys. Everyone, good luck in here if you do trade for the rest of the day. But yeah, Brian gave you all a banger. And uh, yeah, if you want to call it, enjoy your weekend, guys. I'm going to catch y'all. All right, damn. See you, Lento. He might miss the giveaway, though. What if he wins? All right, we're going to get the giveaway now. First giveaway winner is someone named Zua. And then let's just get the bot to do the second one. Zua's number one, and then. All right, let me just see if the bot can detect. I think this person commented twice. The bot said it to comment twice. It was Meet Patel though, but he commented twice, so that's why I just qualified that entry. One, two, okay. And the second one, the true second one would be Stoic Capital. So Zua and Stoic Capital, man. Uh, if you guys can claim in the next five minutes, Zua and Stoic Capital. And we'll, we'll, we'll take three to see if there's any more trades today. Um, look, look how I showed on ES here, right? Um, we're going back and forth. If you took this break along here, Definitely TP at this breaker. If you take this breaker short again, TP at this breaker. Like this is back and forth for like five, six points. Pretty nice. <laughs> Wait, when did I say it to comment twice? I always say like if you are on my live stream, it's always one time because the bot detects, um, the giveaway bot detects if you comment twice and it just, um, it'll pick the winner, but it'll say, oh, they, they, they're disqualified this reason. Why do you think it's going up? It's this breaker here, guys. Uh, but we're just going back and forth. The moment this snaps, I think we're going to send this low here. But I think it's a good call. that I, I didn't do a breaking stop and I did a green stop somewhere. I should have, like, I think anywhere else, I will just probably take full profits for, like, 3RR um, in the 32s area. That have been perfect already. All right, Stoic Capital, just DM me on Twitter or uh, Discord. And then the other person, Zua, you got... I'll give you like four more minutes to claim if you can comment. Congrats to them though. If Zua doesn't claim, we'll just re-roll it. This breaker is holding very nicely. But I, I hope my trade execution live help people go green. I hope... My commentary here is just showing like this is a long opportunity. This is a short opportunity going back and forth. That was like multiple scalps you could went for easily with very tight risks. If you took this um, sh long on ES here, it, it would have been something like this. It, it would have literally been like maybe not that entry, but like let's say you go for the the higher FEG. That would have been two points. And then you you would have went to the second breaker. Um, four points to our very quick. These these um, breakers and unicorns like you're you're getting a very high consistent win rate with a high risk reward. 
and that's how you you can um, see like I am always winning on trades. There I really only lose trades when I take like stupid setups. Which when I do stupid setups like that, it's like I do one contract. My normal size is two. I'll just test it, test the waters to add to it, but it wasn't there. Okay, um, let me just read the chat one more time. Yeah, and and you see Zua here, guys. Um, let me just type it one more time. Zua, claim your prize next three minutes he might have just left too yeah but snow capital i think you said you were here um just dm me in discord right now if you can discord or twitter but preferably discord hey brian can you do a top-down analysis of the trade um yeah top-down analysis so the reason why i like shorts on es is because we already had a short bias on es because of this um five minute breaker that was holding already so we retapped it basically the uh the cost of encroachment of this favor value gap and if you took it in the five minute you would have ma actually made much more um entry at 5044 this have been crazy already they've been 12 points um and then we look on the 15 minute it showed we're still hovering out here but on nq like we're looking at both assets nq we have this bullish breaker or bearish breaker here the same time where we got the short setup, we did retap back inside this breaker and reject from it. So I'm, that's why I'm looking at these um, time frames right now. Um, and NQ, we're already bearish just because we got closure below this hourly. And then we just dropped down the one minute, right? We dropped down the one minute to see if it aligns. If I was bearish on the 15 and 5 on both NQ and ES, I will look on the one minute setup to see if there's a setup that aligns with that. So for this to fail, I would need to um, for it, it would need to violate this one minute breaker setup. Uh, it run basically above fifty forty three, and it will most likely violate that um, that five minute setup too because we have like multiple stabs inside this entry already. There's no reason for it to keep on trying to stab higher, especially if we got every stab inside just gets a clean rejection and reaction from it. Um, so even though I was like. Yeah, I, I want longs down here. Um, I think this is going to be where it bounced, which was very accurate. Um, I just didn't get any long entry from the downside and no confirmation either. Okay, Stoic said that... Yeah, you, you can just talk... So, um, Stoic Capital, if you can just... If you can't DM me on, on Discord, just comment. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I see you. Let me just message you. Boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, we're, we're out here giving killer commentary, giving live execution, and we're also giving away the accounts. So, win, win, win. Ironically, we also deliver with another bearish breaker here. Uh, I would probably use a down close scan on this one just because this is too large. But, yeah, we, we basically... Uh, went back and forth with these two breakers here and then um, once we broke this low here violating this breaker we created another one retapped inside and we should send it lower so i would not try to catch it long here there, there's two breakers holding for lower prices and we just got invalidation on the bullish breaker i'm about to rerun the giveaway because zua is not claiming it so let me do this again guys i hope yeah i definitely hope um the people who are winning the giveaways are are f good fans of ours why can't i do with this now? we're rerunning it guys every uh the comment after um what i said which would qualify for it Jacob said, I'm off for the weekend. Oh, yeah. That's why you just try to pay yourself. Um, that I'm likely done for the weekend here because all my footage are green. And I was up 2000 bucks um, Tuesday when I was live. And now I'm up, um, I eat accounts, 300 bucks each, 350 each. So, like, about, like, nearly 3000 on it. So, like, 5000 a week, that's very good already. No need to keep on pushing the pedal. And... If we, if you guys are keeping up with um, what we're doing on Discord or Twitter, we were talking about a prop boot camp. So we, we made a poll 
which was very interesting. We can talk about that now on live. Um, we made a poll here during my announcement Discord, right? And let me just pull it up. This is the results. It's very, very, very alarming. Um, I take a quick poll here. If you're net positive for prop firms, for those who use prop firms, if you're net positive, you're net negative, or if you basically 4x your expense. So, like, let's say you spent, like, $5,000 on expense, like, eval cost, activation, all that. Um, if you made 20000 bucks or higher than that, you would vote this. So, about nine people vote this. Look at the ratio of people who are green on prop firms, net positive, versus red on prop firms. If this is you, like, you can, you can vote on this, um, vote on this in my Discord as well. And we're going to try to run a, a um, boot camp for, for those who are red. We're going to try to get those people who are red to step up and get them. This is like, there's literally no shame in either. Like, if you're struggling, we're here to help. And we, uh, we, we're going to work with, um, Lance, the, the person that was just here. He's also a very high figure trader. Like him, we got Dazzy too. Um, so it's a trio running this boot camp. I'll, I'll try to be the front runner and make the content. And they have lots of experience, lots of advice. Um, but yeah, like if that's one of you, definitely vote in it. And everyone who who votes will will, will either make the boot camp either on private Discord for free or on YouTube, either one. But definitely take a vote though. The results was very alarming to me. I, I did not expect that because for someone like me, I'm just thinking like. I'm so profitable and prop firm. There's people around me like like Lanto and all these people. They're doing so well. I expect my people around me too in my Discord to be very profitable. But to see that is like wow, it's an eye opener. Okay, let me see this next person here. Brian Stong, Desi, and Lance. Dude, we're, we're actually, we have a group chat. We, we literally talk every day um, when we're trading with our prop firms and all that stuff. And like, we're doing big numbers. Like, we were always talking about we're just trying to scale up. Like, uh, they actually helped me to scale up too. Like, I, I was very comfortable doing like 10, 15,000 a month. I think this month I'm about to end with 25,000 uh, or more, like, depending on like, if I want to push it up higher. To be fair, if I was profitable, I would not be on someone's Discord. Um, I think a lot of people would um, be in Discord though, like because you, you you can learn a lot from people. Like you, let's say let's say you take all my trades, like, even though I, I there's like bad image about signal bots. If you took all my trades this week and like this last few months, you would get funded. You would get paid out very very easily. Um. If you look at track record, this is already like a seven hundred dollar play here with just two minis, and I had no drawdown. Tuesday we had the same trade basically. We had five points with no drawdown. As long as we're waiting for the the right setup, uh, but I'm I'm here to teach you guys to trade. I, I don't want you guys to just, just take every single my trade, um, just blindly. You you really want to learn it, and if you can see my track record and and see the results real time, like. There, there's only a very few people who tell you the trade ahead of time. Because I was like, all right, I like this short. I'm going to put my limit here. And you guys see real time, I put my limit there. Um, and if you can learn from that, instead of just like taking the, the free trade, free money there with the high win rate, just learn from that. And then let's say I'm not trading in front of you guys anymore. You're, you're able to do it yourself. And you can refine that trade too. Uh, the next giveaway winner today is Beats by Design Only Wins. If you can um, claim your prize in the next five minutes, please. If, if not, we have to rerun it again. Congrats to Beats by Design if he, if he claims it. Yeah, all right, he's here. Uh, Beats by Design, just, just um, DM me on Discord and just take a picture of your YouTube profile. Just so I can confirm it's you. And then I'll, I'll, do the, I'll give you the count after stream. We're, we're doing a very good stream right now. 
Holy crap. Um, if I was like, I feel like if I was trading by myself and I was being very aggressive, I would just take this um, short here. I don't, like, I don't think I would hold for this long. I would keep on scalping back and forth because I'm, I'm such a quick scalper. But when I'm on live stream, I really want to just give high probability setups. So if there's three trade setups here, this, this is probably four setups here. And there's four setups here. I would only look for the, the most high probability one. And that's most likely this one here. So that's why I took this one. Um, we could have easily flipped here um, and longed it on this retap here. Flipped it back, basically back and forth. Like maybe, maybe one day um, I'll just try to forget that no one's watching and I'll just trade how I normally will. And then you guys can see it. You walked away for a second, you missed the trade. That, that's what happens. Like sometimes I'll trade for two hours, I'll get nothing. And then like once I get confirmation, I'll usually be able to anticipate the trade. So every trade um, is anticipated like, usually like five minutes ahead of time. This was probably like a few minutes ahead of time. Um, but once it hits, like we, we really got to jump in on it. But yeah, let's let's take a quick poll though. Um, let's take a quick poll, see how many people are green, how many people are red for the week. I hope that trade helped people. Could you do like ICT and we just watch? I don't think ICT even really take trades. He just says like, this is probably going to go lower and he's like <laughs> it's kind of funny he's like see i told you look look back look back um did i not tell you there um yeah right, let's take a quick poll for the week guys let's just see how folks are doing um pineal check for the week green red or break even or close to even essentially julian blanco said ended the week green thank god man are we going for higher or lower i have no idea um, i would probably argue lower but we already took this lows out that's been that would be my target so as a scalper i really have a target if it hits i'm done like i, I don't i don't even care if it pumps up or dumps 20 more points Oh, okay. Um, let me check the hourly here, though. So yeah, this is what I was envisioning—a move below midnight open, and kind of dance around, and then I would want to see it, um, try to move higher. Likely through a breaker through com confirmation here, and then move higher throughout the day. I really don't think the lows is gonna get tagged again. This should be protected. So here, I I would love longs here. It's gonna be premature for sure. You would want confirmation. Um, there's a breaker here also. We took this liquidity here. We took this low here. Um, I don't know if this is good here. We didn't really have FEG here. Mm, let me see the poll. 43% are green, 40% are red. It's kind of even. Um, yeah. What's your stop when, you use, when you're scalping? It's, it's the same thing, like... Let's say I take this trade. It's going to be a three-point stop. If I take this long here, this is a good example here. If I take this long here, I'll likely just take it like at this order block here, right? Um, just right under the FEGs. We have two FEGs. I'll put my stop under the breaker, one and a half points. And like, it doesn't even have to go to target. If it goes three points to our R right there, I'll just take it right there. So that, that was, this would have been like the quickest trade here ever. It would have been like um, enter and then TP the next like candle. And then you can really go back and forth. I don't know if I'll take this trade. I feel like it'll be too relentless. But it would have worked still. Um, we'll just see. Stay with us, please. Come on, man. You guys got to end the week green. If I, if I over trade, I'll be kicking myself. How long are we going to trade live? I think we're about to wrap up. I'm going to stay for like another 20 minutes and try to commentate. If I if there's another clear setup, I'll take it. But um, I'll try to commentate. Because like I said, um, I'll trade two hours. So like about, let's say 9.50 to noon. It's sometimes more than two hours around then. And throughout the whole session, there could be like multiple setups. But my job is to find that one setup that would, I think, is the high, highest probability and share with you guys. That's what I've been doing lately. Um, definitely avoid the one that I... Sometimes I'm like, 
this is risky and I'm just gonna try it premature. Those are like hit or miss. Yeah, but join join the Discord if um if you want. It should be in the description. Join the Discord. Uh if there's a trade setup on PM, I don't know if I'll trade PM tonight just because it's Friday and like I should I really should just be done for the week. But if there's a setup, I'll share it on Discord when I'm not on live. Yeah, the Discord is open for everyone right now. I don't know how long I'll do it for. Because it was private for years, years. And I opened it recently. The last month and a half is open to everyone. So everything I do, you can see publicly. And we did trade a lot last night. There was no FEG here. And this is premature here too. So this is something I wouldn't take just because... Um, there's no confirmation yet. If we had SMT, that that could be a different story. But that's why I demonstrated there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see, 1038. Someone said 1038. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, you're looking at this as the bearish breaker. Um, it's also on ES. We didn't get a closure, so it's only NQ. Um, this is be ambitious though, because it's such a large range. So we have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high. Did we displace the low? And it's like just this is something I do not like. Is it, it like if I do it like this, it will just be like this. It'll be too quick. I would typically want it run up like this and get a healthy range for it to be good. The y'all trade last night it was Asia. I think like that's we're, we're, we've been planning streams on Asia with with me and Lanto and maybe Desi. Um, and we'll, we'll do two streams basically. We'll, we'll trade um, live Asia and then. Um, hopefully in the morning we'll wake up a time and try to trade there too. I like Ninja Invest. Ninja is very clean lately. I, I traded Tradevate for like years until Ninja was there. Ninja is so good because I have all my prop firms connected. If you see here, like let me just show you. Um, There we go. I only have two connected right now, but I have every single prop firm connected. And um, it's very good. It's very good. What? Holy crap! This 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 today and this week has been very very good for me. Holy crap! I'm just looking at everything. I can show the results. We did well in Asia when we did well in New York. I'll try to hide the numbers, but. This is what it looks like here, guys. If you want to learn from me, I'm, I'm going to try to do the boot camp and really help people. But this is my accounts right now. I have Apex here. Um, a few Apex um, that are way past the threshold. Apex here, way past the threshold, 155k. ETF, way past the threshold, 156k. Past the eval last night, I showed too. And I think I have my fun features too, yeah. Yeah, we're that rolling. Lots of accounts done today. Healthy, healthy profits. We we didn't stream. I, I typically don't stream in Asia. I, I just like trade in front of you guys, or I'll just share the setups. So like when I'm not on live on YouTube, I'll, I'll literally just like, let's say um this is a setup I'll take. I'll just screenshot it like this, and I'll share the chat like this is something I'll take here, and I might show the entry and exit and all that. Any X of it? Oh yeah, I forgot um. My my top step is actually on on trade of eight. That's why I, I can't connect to rhythmic. And that's why I can't show that. But let me let me pull up on trade of eight. We took some trades there too last night. Oh, what a dump. Holy crap. So this became a bearish breaker instead. <laughs> ironically. Um so all the bearish breakers really holding. We have a bearish breaker here, bearish breaker here, and then we just hit another bearish breaker here. Once we got a closure under this low here, this breaker confirms. And we'll just look at this. Um, okay, oh, this should be like this. It's really slam lower. Uh, let me just see. My, I mean, I, my fitness has been doing good too. Look, uh, two X of A's, 2,800 on one, 500 on the other one. We're, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling, man. Like, I'm going to end the day with like 15K in profits. But for the live stream purposes... Um, I'm up, I only traded eight accounts on live. I have like what, what I do, I have my main fund accounts. So I, I'll just try to trade like 
three or two to five hundred each day on live stream on like half my accounts and the other half I trade like elsewhere. Just so I can like divide the risk. I, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. You forgot the giveaway? I I did I did uh, both already. We're chilling. Uh okay. I'll do one more for the OGs because we got like 50, 50 exits. Um let's do one more. Alright, type username for one final giveaway. We're gonna do three today. And after this, I will like to just end the stream, guys. If you appreciate what I do, live trading in front of you guys, commentating, helping you learn, giving away the accounts, would appreciate it if you guys use my discount code. It's just smart. If you use smart and Apex for my fund features, I I would help you get funded and get you paid out. I'll try I'll try my best. And hopefully that bootcamp is going to definitely help too. So yeah, lots of people I believe. I, I, I'm probably expecting only like 50 people entering this time too. So you really got like a 2% chance. For the boys. And the girls. I need the boot camp so bad. I'm down bad. So that's the thing. Like a lot of people are doing bad with with prop firms. It 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 really changes very quick. Like. Um, because you can do bad, like you can be down a lot of money over the course of like a year if you're trading platforms like six months or a year. But once you really um plan things out and start being more disciplined, paying yourself frequently, um, I help I help people um in real life really who don't know nothing about trading, get them funded, uh, get them started with prop firms. They they've been learning and like if you have the right habits, you can pay yourself so quickly and then like from red. For the last six months to really high degree and then and then once you scale up that that's the game changer i don't really recommend scaling up too quickly though just because um that's why like if you're down bad you're likely just trying to do 20 fun is or 10 fun is when you're not ready to do it you really want to start with like, just a handful like two then if you get paid out go for three go for four slowly go up and then once you're at that let's say six months past you're profitable on prop firms Get ten, get twenty. You can get two hundred dollars per day on them, on twenty counts. It's four bucks, four four get four thousand um a month, or four thousand um a day. I mean, sorry. And that really changes it up when it's a boot camp. Well, we're gonna try to make it um this weekend, and then we're gonna try to do like episode each, each week, each every three four days. Let's see. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I've been talking too much today. Uh, we're we're bouncing off this hourly here. I really think longs should work now. Um, if if we get confirmation on the five minute here, that would be beautiful. If we can just smash through this, I would love to see long work. That might be the last trade we'll take today. Okay, uh, let me just do a giveaway winner. Wow, once we did that penal check again, or, or once more people voted, 35% of people are green, 45% are red, and then 20% are, are break even. Yeah, lots of people are really not doing as good as I want. Even even though the only I only showed two trades this week, they're both highly green. So try to try to learn and and be patient, guys. Giveaway winner for today, or uh, for the third one today, is Klopp. Congrats to Klopp. Let's see if we can claim it in the next five minutes.
All right, he responded. Everyone, congrats, some man. Cheers to him. Are you eligible for payouts if you have more than 3k in the total number of PAs in Apex or each PAs? Um, you just need above plus 100 drawdown of your funded account. So if, if it's a 50k account, it's a 2500 drawdown. You just gotta go plus 100. You need $2,600 of profits before you get payout, and then you just gotta hit, adhere to that 30% consistency rule. Hype for the week workshop. Yep, yep. Uh, it, if if possible though guys if you guys join the discord um this is my discord here i have the link in the bio go to prop feedback or you, you're gonna vote first vote here if you're green red or rocket ship if you're that good right now and go to prop feedback i need feedback if i can really see what's wrong with what what's wrong with some of you guys like some people are saying like um poor discipline or doing evals recklessly or not being patient for that trade like i need to see this so i can Ha formulate a plan um, for the people who are struggling. So definitely share your experience. There's no shame in any of this because um, who cares about shame when, when we're trying to make money? It's, it's 90-10, Caleb. If you want more information also with prop firms, this, I, I made a guide. Just go to smartpropfirm.com. There's, there's all these materials on it that I'm going to keep on trying to work on. But dude, dude, Prop firms are are the financial freedom, like because it's it's so accessible to anyone. Like, um, if you only have like a thousand bucks to trade with, you can literally start prop firm for fifty bucks. Maybe the activation could be expensive. My fund features is probably the cheapest route right now. Fifty bucks on the starters, fifty dollars on activation. That's a hundred dollar all in cost, and you can make two thousand dollars right away every fourteen days if you are doing it right. Um. You can get two, ninety no. It's you can get two thousand on the fifty k account. So ninety percent of that, you get eighteen hundred. CB, use your code for my fund of futures. Pass one. You gotta get the other three, man. Um, I'm also gonna work on a little bit evals, probably off streams, just because I can I get more funded. But holy crap, we're doing we're doing so well today and this week, man. We're on a streak. Yeah, I think Apex today. I'm I'm gonna be requesting a big payout, about like another twelve thousand payout at the end of the day. And I'll hit the ten day mark again. So we're we're really rolling, guys. If you guys need assistance, um, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. You guys can talk to me there, show your share experience. And there's some people typing right now. Um, and then I'll try my best. Right now is everything's free right now. But if you want more help, maybe in the future we'll we'll do a mentorship or something. I don't think. It's going to be that expensive. But I haven't done anything like that. It might be worth it, though. Seeing our results lately. But don't take these free stuff for granted right now. I know a lot of people put... When when it's free, people have less value in them. Because if I if I put, like, a $20 interest fee, literally, like, two thirty you guys won't even be here. Even though it's going to be the same quality, same experience. But when I make it free... A lot of people show up, but they might not put the same value because maybe they're already in a Discord from someone else who's like fifty dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month. They're like, "Oh, I already paid these guys. I need to listen from them." But they not, they might not even be worth um, the 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 time you're putting in, and they might not fit your style. Or they might just be a furu trying to market to you. You want to learn from real traders. Another real trader, for example, if you if you guys saw my Twitter, I retweeted Tanya's big win. This is what happens, guys. Um, when she was not on live stream for a whole week, thirty-two thousand dollars a day. Um, I talked to her about this on private. Basically, we're just like going all back and forth, like, um, how it's really a lot of pressure when you're trading in front of so many people because you might limit your trade, uh, in your TP, and there's a lot of mental pressure when so many eyes are watching. And for me, even like I try to kill trade early today is a example of, of something the opposite like if i had this hit here that would been beautiful but i put a green stop on i would for sure probably take full profits uh down to here once i get three rr i think this is three r here if i did this short stop at the top of the breaker um yeah this is this is 2.9 r i would have for sure taken that 
I usually take it fully out at 2, two already, though. This is 2 here. 2.5 would have been awesome. Because I'm a scalper. If I'm risking 3 points and I get, like, 8 points immediately, I'll take that as a, in a heartbeat. When is Apex update? I think they update midnight. But, yeah, um, look look at the smartprotfirm.com, guys. If you guys want help, um, let me just pull that up for you guys. I, I'll, I'll just showcase this. Um, I'm trying to... I'm working with this with a lot of people, and we try to slowly build it up, but he shows the deal of the week, 80% off, 84% off my foot futures, and tops up there. And um, if you look at the prop guide, this is very essential here. Let's say I go to Apex. Let's go uh, my foot futures, or even the simplified prop guide. The simplified one is just telling how prop form works. The sim phase, funded phase, the pros and cons, account overview. And then I also have examples of like static drawdown, intraday drawdown, which intraday people don't even understand sometimes. And then if you go closer, I have Apex here. It'll talk about the payout structures, all these things and how to get reserves. I have a note key things that a lot of people miss. Like for example, static drawdown. Once you get past your, um, once, once you get withdrawals, your liquidation is not the um, hard minimum balance anymore. It goes back to plus 100, which is stupid. That's why I don't recommend the static for Apex. I always go for the normal accounts. And I'll talk about the specific rules. I'll talk about flipping rules, news trading. It has all this stuff. For my funded futures, is very similar. Um, definitely look at this. I'm going to try to... If you guys have more info that you guys want, out, I'll, I'll work on it. But look at this. This is smartproperproven.com. And I also have... Um, if you want a trade copier, let's see here, trade copier here. We're just trying to work on this slowly, but I have a video on that. And I show step-by-step step how to do the trade copier, exactly how I would do it. Very easy, guys. And um, I'm going to close that here. If you guys want to see more trades from me, just join the free Discord right now. Link in bio for Discord free at the moment. But yeah, we'll, we'll try to work on the boot camp over the weekend, and we'll try to slowly build it out. Maybe it'll be it'll be a month long boot camp, and it's gonna be like a five part video. But we're trying to really surround ourselves in the prop firm industry, and get people financially free because like it's hard for people like no one can have like a hundred thousand dollars to trade with personal cash and to trade like a thousand bucks a day. But prop firm like really bridged that gap, and anyone everyone has a hundred dollars to spare. Everyone has two hundred dollars to spare. If you know how to trade prop from well you can really get a payout and then start scaling up scaling up um and don't rush the journey you don't you don't need 20 funny counts right off the bat especially if you don't if you're not even profitable yet but yeah much appreciate guys um we'll, we'll see you guys next week if not i'll be on discord if you do you do back to the session we'll, we'll we'll try to do back to the session um maybe next week uh that, that'll, that'll be fun for for a learning experience it'll, it'll be free on discord most likely but yeah, join the Discord if you guys want. Um, I'll end the session here, guys. Have a good weekend. Stay green.